Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Commodity Futures Report for Wednesday, November 10. We're going to cover iron ore, gold, GDX, silver, crude, copper, natural gas, nickel uh, and the dollar index. So I want to cover, I'm going to work in a bit of an order, so I've got order. Um, so I'm going to start with iron ore. And um, if you've been following me with this, then you know that we're looking for five waves down from wave four here. There's one and two in here somewhere. There's all of the third wave in here. There'll be a bounce off the 500. This is from the Chinese exchange, uh, wave four and wave five to uh, move lower uh, here. And hopefully that will be a low there. Um, I don't know if you remember, but um, this move here, this first leg here, is actually corrective. It's not impulsive, so um, it does make all of this corrective. So it does make all this a buying opportunity. It's, it's, um, <clears throat> you know, it's yeah, it's an opportunity. But we need some evidence that it's landed and it's moving to the upside before we can do anything um, on that nature. Radio. So over to gold. Uh, spot gold, US spot gold weekly chart. Um, you know that we've been looking at a triangle pattern from wave three up here with an A and a B and a C and a D and an E here. It's been a long haul um, through all of this. And the other count that I've got with this, of course, is putting wave four over here as a irregular flat, as an A and a B and a C wave here, then up for one and back for two, and then up for one and back for two and working higher at that point. So a nice breach of that trend line would um, would help with that, wouldn't it, you know? So, but we still need to, I know that the market's moving up and <clears throat> everybody gets excited and FOMO sets in and yada, 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 but we still need to be, uh, still need to be mindful um, of this wave E here, you know. So uh, let's go in where we're in the weekly chart. So let's go to the daily chart. So this would be the triangle pattern here. So a B, C and D and E for four here. And then well, the A, the B and the C wave we've been looking for up here. It's a bit rough to count that up here, I know. Um, the best I can do with that, I think, is I've uh, is here. <clears throat> so in this case, the A wave here, the B wave here, and then one and two here, and then one and two and three and four, and then going up for five into this top uh, here or here. doesn't really matter too much. Wherever you want to put it, doesn't matter because still got this corrective pattern here as wave four. Yes, it does overlap here um, and so on. And then wave five to the upside here. <clears throat> It's a little bit awkward and there's lots of things wrong with it and you can throw tomatoes if you want. Um, but um, I think the most important thing is, is that we need to look at, um, I need to change <clears throat> this as well. So we do need to look for five waves up there. Once those five waves are finished, right, we're either going to come back for uh, 50, 60% as a retracement and then move up or we're going to be, you know, moving into this situation uh, here. So we will know, at, you know, in, in due course uh, here for this. Now, um, I've had to extend this wave structure to the upside, but we'll get into that structure in a moment. I just really wanted to point out <clears throat> the A, the B, and the C wave here for the D, and then the A, the B, and the C here. And yes, we all know that this... Um, is messy uh, and so on and so on. So, um, yeah, I mean, sometimes it's just easy. I mean, sometimes it's just easy to count just to sort of take these things out like that. I mean, it's some news driven event and back because that's the main traffic here, you know, and the same with this one here. And if we have a look at other gold markets that haven't done that, that trade during the day will probably um, <clears throat> be a nice structure to the upside here. You know, um, right, so okay, moving along. So, the essence of this whole gold video <clears throat> is that we need to get to the top of that five wave structure and then it will fold over and then we can um, start to 
consider what we've got. Do we come down for the A wave, B and C, or do we come small wave A, B and C, and then push up again? So this will be where we go long above the B wave here, above this B wave, not that one. Uh, yeah, so that's the crux of the matter. Let's just uh, cruise along. I'm not sure what charts we've got here. So on the more bullish count, we can look at wave four being here with one and two and one and two here, and then moving up for wave one and two here. So it still brings us back to having five waves within this particular structure here, and that's what we really need to, to do. And yesterday, <clears throat> Uh, with this, we were looking at, well, wave one being here and ABC for wave two. Um, if I've got this wrong, then wave the blue wave one would be over here and we can come back for this wave two. Yesterday, we talked about three targets to the downside. This one, this one, and this one down here for this wave four. So there were three targets that we could look at. <clears throat> So also yesterday as well, I looked at this in the most conservative view as being one and two and three and four and going up for five. And I could stretch it to that point, which really should have stopped probably there. But um, now it's moved on higher past our thing here. So that means we need to reassess this particular structure here. OK, so I think I did look at that in the tick chart. So we'll go to the tick chart. Yep. So. <clears throat> So uh, from this low, be it whatever it may be. So before I had this little wave one here, sitting over here as wave one and two, but now I've stretched it up. I've lifted it up, well, I'm forced to. I've mo I'm moving with the markets. So um, one and two and three and four and five for one and back for two here. <clears throat> And I've had a bit of a quick count up here. I've got wave three here with wave four there, but I'm not quite happy with that. It, this wave four could also be um, over here. So I'll just look at, I, I will look at the, I need to figure it out. So um, I just need a bit more time to do that. But um, in the meantime, we're pretty close because <clears throat> if we think about it, if this is all wave one here and then we've got wave two here and then this is wave three here, this wave three is longer than wave one in that distance so that's all okay but that wave three could be in this top here i'm not quite sure we could i mean we could even have it here in wave four and five but what we're not seeing yet is we're not seeing this here so in the most simplest terms if this was wave one up here and we're coming back for wave two well then we would take this low here and wherever that top may be and maybe at 1850 I, I i don't know i just need to do some more work on it <clears throat> but well, let's just say it is so then that would bring us back down into this 50 60 percent retracement area here so we will have to go through something like this before uh heading higher in that regard so that's that's the most simplest case so when this starts down here then we need to understand um you know what what's what at this uh, you know at this stage with everything so we've got this target here if i go back to to our hourly chart just for a moment I, we did have three targets i did put them on maybe i've deleted one i don't know um yeah but here so we can put this wave one over here somewhere and the a the b and the c wave here for this wave two we'll get a better position on that um, so we're either come back for that one, we come back for that one, or we go into the triangle pattern. It's as simple as that. They're the, <clears throat> they're all the counts that I can muster up that have reasonable possibilities, you know, without being biased. Because my, you know, I mean, I'd love it to go straight up and everybody would be happy, but um, yeah, life is not like that. So this wave three here. So I really wanted to do this, do this all in front of you to a point. So we've got to realize that this could also go into this space and this could go up into here this could be one and two and three and four and five finishing up here i'm not quite sure but we got to i got to figure that out a little bit but it doesn't kind of matter we're just going to let it it's like what bitcoin's doing at the moment we need to allow it to move up and finish and then it's it's all about the pullback here that's what we're what's what we're more interested in are we coming to here are we coming to here or are we going deeper into that triangle pattern down the bottom down here <clears throat> let's have a look at uh so we don't have to worry about anything at the moment just enjoy the high um the silver market silver silver so with silver here 
Uh, I've got this as one and two here, and then um, three, four, five for wave one here and back for wave two here, and it's pulled back to the 50, 60. It's just touched on the 50%. I mean, if it was a wave four, it would just come back to, to the 40%. So there's a good possibility that, um, that this wave one over here can be over here as well. Not that it matters a lot, um, but, and then this would make this wave four over here for this. So I just want to be mine. I just want to share that um, because it's all a little bit scruffy in here as well. Um, and it has, it has never really had a good wave four here. It hasn't had a good definition for that wave four. So we do need to be a little bit careful about that. <clears throat> But our next step here is really uh, to the upside here. There's more to come here. I can see that this first little move here has got five waves to that move. So we could put that wave one there and wave two there for that. We can have three, four and five up there. And <clears throat> here's probably one and two, maybe three, four, five. So maybe the third wave is already there in that case. Bit of an overlap there, but I'm just being very conservative here as well. <clears throat> but one of the main points here, it doesn't matter if it's this wave one or this wave one, it doesn't really matter at this point. What matters is that when we get to the top up here, we can just draw a line. So this, this will be the trend up here, and then this will be the trend down. And this is the one that we need to focus in on, you know? <clears throat> And of course, the 25 here as support just tells us that we need to be long at that point. But we, we've been trying to build positions in um, below this level, and then we want to build in above the level. So I think we've done a reasonable job so far. <clears throat> but like I say, it um, nothing really matters at the moment. We know that this is sort of pushing up a little bit, and uh, we need it to, uh, to complete. And then uh, it's this side over here that, that's most important. Okay, we better have a look at GDX, 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 that's DXY, GDX, so what's this, a daily chart? So <clears throat> with GDX, we've got an A wave and a B wave and a C wave, and then we've got up for wave one and back for wave two, that was the way I was looking at it. It's possible that I thought this all this move down here would just be the A wave, but really it's moved right into the 61.8%. So it's kind of just gone there, nailed it and turned and and is <clears throat> is heading north, you know. So uh, that wave two there is good. I mean, it, it would confirm as wave two if it took the top of wave one out. On the intraday... <clears throat> It's just 45 minute chart. Not there's anything special about the 45 minutes, just that it was there. Um, <clears throat> so wave five down the low here, up for wave one, and then back for wave two here. So I could count here on the 15 minute chart, an A wave, a B wave here, and then a C wave here. So to me, an A and a B and five waves down for the, so to me that was there already. Now I know that it's possible if that if I've counted that wrong, <clears throat> and that is in five waves, well then indeed, this will be the A wave here, the B wave up here, and then the C wave down here. But I have to say, that's probably impulsive to that point, that high there, even though I can't see five waves in there. And then I would say that this point to that point, there is five waves. So we've really gone above that now. So I'm thinking that, I'm thinking that we're on our way. I think that this is some sort of five wave structure here we're looking that's what we're look that that five waves that I was looking for in gold going up is this five waves here one two three four and five here and we just need to sort out that bit and then there'll be the pullback there and then we can also buy along again um oh another one of these over here anyway you know <clears throat> So it does appear that that gold has got a low in place, not just GDX, but all the stocks and the spot market and so on and so on. And we're, we're heading higher. So it is looking really good. Um, the only spanner in the works that I can mention is that, yes, we get a wave B coming down here. So an A wave, a B wave and a C wave. But I have to say, because of yesterday's or yeah, whatever today, whatever last session's price action here, that's taken out that top there, 
really banging into supply here now supply just meaning sellers um but we've moved past this a b and c wave here so i think that we're on our way at this point i mean we'll pull back and it'll give us a chance to um to to get another position in there i don't have a position in there I, i'm in newcrest mining <clears throat> um so yeah so that's that so that's the gold market as such and we need to have a look at crude uh, crude here so um, just on the daily chart so we can certainly call we're looking at calling wave uh, this into play here probably wave one and two in here the third wave normally comes in across the top there and then we'll see uh, wave five moving up there higher so all positive for crude on that side i won't go to the intraday because i don't have time sometimes i will sometimes i won't depending on how much time i'm churned up in some other market and uh the next one is is copper so uh the copper market uh here i think that we're in a triangle because um because i've it appears we've got five waves down here so an a wave and a b wave coming back up and then a c wave here i was looking at um this is just the uh trading levels charting program which is free to download off our site it's just an end of day program <clears throat> it needs meta stock data um there's no free data from <clears throat> Yahoo anymore that we put in, but so this is the pattern here. This is the LME copper. So in this case, it's kind of just a little bit interesting really, because here I could count this down here as one and two and three and four and five, and then the third wave, fourth wave and fifth wave here, even though it doesn't show nice five waves here, but we do make that low there because we don't make that low uh, over here on the US copper. So really on the LME, we can put it over there. That would be the right thing to do at that point. But it doesn't count very, doesn't count very well in that case. <clears throat> and then this looks like an A and a B and a C wave up here, doesn't it? And that looks like it's down for one. That will go back for two, three, four, and five. So that C, we could get a C, we could get, you know, we could get five waves in, in that, um, uh, in that sequence there. You know, we could get five waves coming down here for that. <clears throat> this is, I've got more data on, on this, so I'll just drag this in here. This is the LME copper here. So what I wanted to point out here though is that we've got five waves up here. So we've got here, we've got an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave here. Then we've got wave one, A, B, C for two here, and then we're going up for the third wave and the fourth wave and the fifth wave up here. So there's still more to, to be had at this point. We just need this copper correction to be, uh, to be over. So um, on the US markets, it looks like this is also US, this is US market here, I think. So I did change the, uh, I did change this uh, chart to US dollar. I think this is US dollars. <clears throat> but the US don't use metric, do they? They're still in, they're still, uh, <clears throat> still in bushels beating around the bush in miles um so yeah i mean we could have a c wave here but anyway whichever way we look at it it's 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 not finished but it's two-thirds of the way finished so if you're in copper stocks then all i can suggest to you is to um uh is to uh, just hold those hang in there and hold them you know um, but we'll be in this until probably after Christmas um, before we see that uh, next move up there and um, yeah this will be in line with you know with uh, with other markets as well not so much the energy market because um, there's that's it's slightly different but um, yeah anyway that's where we are there for copper and natural gas um has also 
fallen out of bed so I'm just going to go to the daily chart for that <clears throat> I lost my smaller wave count um, for this so I could put that back in now I guess I think it was uh, must have been that height there I think so look unfortunately it looks like we're going to get this situation here because it fell out of bed it's broken our pattern so first of all once again we know that it's corrective because from the top of wave three here down to the a wave here it's in three waves so it's corrective no matter what happens here it's corrective i'm just assuming that this is down for one back for two down for three back for four and down for five so five waves in wave C for wave four. We're above, <clears throat> we're above the 38.2% the retracement levels already here. So it looks like it's going to breach that. The only other thing that I could see here is maybe it could work into some sort of... Um, triangle pattern here like actually find support here and then starts to push up at that point um it could still be up for wave one here and then an a and a b and a c for wave two but this c wave here is not finished so if i go to the um the intraday here you'll see that it's just not there so if we look at this if we look at this move down here as wave one and back for wave two you see how strong that move is just here so that would all be one and two and three and four and five for the third wave fourth wave and fifth wave for that um for that wave four <clears throat> so if this is correct it still has more to move over there this trend line just comes from over here that's all yeah so that looks like the situation there for natural gas <clears throat> and nickel. So I'm just going to go to the daily chart here because it's a bit tricky to read in the uh, intraday. So, yeah. So, 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 um, well, as a classic trading levels pattern up here we've got the arrival the reaction the first high above the level but we don't have the abc pattern here just yet <clears throat> so it's got more this is not going to be ready until after christmas as well this market unless i've made a terrible mistake and this is just up for like wave one and coming back for wave two and then going up for three four and five but we'll that's why we got the green line there to handle that situation you know um but besides that um yeah we, we still need our b and c wave here for wave two okay um and also the dollar index as well <clears throat> US dollar index this is the daily chart here I'd been looking at wave three low here with an a wave a b wave and a c wave up here for wave four to pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree over here for that um it's looking a little bit weird here um <clears throat> there's there's different ways that this could all be counted up here so if you got I, I don't even know if this is correct or not um i could change it my i could change it around i could put this here for instance this wave four here and that little wave one up here and the wave two here but still leave that as three and four so whichever way i look at it, it doesn't really matter what we were looking for from wave three to four here is we're looking for this wave four here <clears throat> and then wave five to the upside now this move up through here has <clears throat> started to travel nicely and then it's just gotten um you know it's just gone a bit sort of corrective mode so i'm wondering if we need to put wave four over here for that let's just have a look at this on the um on the intraday here for a moment so this is my little wave four here and we were looking i was just assuming that would be up for wave one at that point you know and then we'll come back and uh for wave two 
we started to move off quite nicely but then we've sunken low here again so it just looks like it's a bit of a looks like it's just a bit of a, a b wave rally here as an a wave down here a b wave up here and then a c wave to come back down here before heading off again i'm not quite sure but for that to happen we need to um would need to breach these lows here for that that would confirm that we would be looking for five waves uh moving lower in this in this regard before heading up again which is the real pain really this whole thing <clears throat> Just checking on a few things. I was just making sure that's the high. So in this case, we'd probably have to look at this as wave one here and then two here, then one and two and three and four and five for the third wave here, and then an A and a B and a C for the fourth wave and then down for the fifth wave. So this is giving us an A wave, a B wave and a C wave here for this. <clears throat> The B wave has taken the top out here. If it was under that, then we could probably look at that being the top of the market, but it's just not the case. So it can't do, can, can't do. So it looks like we're just gonna be sort of in this space here in some sort of C wave and then finishing off up there for that. So just coming back to the daily chart, we may need to move that across bit annoying alrighty um, I'll leave it all at that uh, thanks for tuning in cheers